Hi guys, it's Denma and welcome to the Wolf Stint and today I'm going to be doing Monster High Minis unboxing. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 12 of them. I got them from my Toys R Us haul, which should be up before this one. Um, this is all they had left. I even asked if they had any more in the back because I would have bought them all. Because I'm trying to get them all. And as you can see from the box, it doesn't even show all of them. It just shows some of them. I don't know. This is 70 plus of them to collect there. It says a mini. 70 plus. And this is season one or series one, which I think there's three series out. I've got some series two, but I don't think I have any series three. Um, unfortunately, I think Monster High is actually coming to an end, which is sad because that was my favorite doll line ever. Ever after high basically discontinued a couple of years ago um, and kind of merged into this Enchantables franchise now. But Monster High wasn't even at Toy Fair this year, which is not a good sign. I know ever since Hasbro got the rights, I think it was Hasbro, got the rights to the Princess doll line, Mattel has been falling further back and they're trying everything they can. So, um, I have started collecting the DC Superhero Girls, the only the ones that I actually like, like Harley, Katana, Poison Ivy, and Killer Frost. I like Starfire's outfit and her hair and her doll. I just can't stand the character. Every time I've seen Starfire, like, on Teen Titans, the original Teen Titans cartoon, she was just so annoying. Kind of like Orihime and Bleach. Those characters annoy the crap out of me, and I will refuse to watch something because of that. But anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. These usually run $2.99 a piece. I think I got them for $2.10, which I think it was 30% off. The store wasn't in its final days because it was between everything was between 30 and 50% off. So next time I go back, if I go back before they close, I'm going to get Ivory the Tiger, which is the white version of this guy so I can have both. Well, I checked the price on Ivory, which is like the white tiger version of this, and it's a Toys R Us exclusive, I'm sure. She was still $91, coming down from, I think, $149. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. They had about 10 of them They're all around the store, so I'm gonna see if they come down any before they actually go out of business. If not, I'm just fine with online. So any dupes that I get, because I've got a whole bunch out in the camper where I'm supposed to be, but I have been really, really sick recently. I've had two rounds in the hospital, nearly back to back. I think they were three days apart. Got a lot of health issues. Um, so I'm recovering in here where I can be supervised. And I'm gonna make sure if I don't, if I get any dupes, then I'll post them on eBay. I was thinking of posting them on Poshmark, but everything on Poshmark has a flat rate shipping fee of $6.95. I don't think that's fair to ship this little thing for $6.95 when you can ship it for like maybe two or three dollars. That's just not right. So if I do post them on eBay, I will post the links down below in the comments and pin it or in the description. I don't know. I'm going to be going through a lot of my like little, little knickknacks like my Tsum Tsums and these and if I've got dupes that I have like I said they'll be going on eBay to find new homes so I have 10 to go through so hopefully I won't get any dupes but you never know so let me get some scissors what time is it it's one o'clock in the afternoon so it's lunch break in the PCS mining company that's way down the street. It's lunch break so you'll hear a bunch of big trucks going by because they have their big work trucks. They come into the city, well, city, this isn't really a city, and just here to eat or they go into town to eat. So basically I want every Claudine or any of the Werecats or Rochelle or Abby. I don't care if I eat anybody else. Um, I think this is the Ivy. Or Venus Ivy. Thinking of Gotham. This Gotham past few episodes. Oh my gosh. 
Venus flytrap. Okay, there's her locker. Let me free you from your little plastic prison here, Venus. identify which Venus this is because I do have um, rarities and these sets so let's see the blue skullet means common the pink one means fanta fantastic find the yellow is frightfully uncommon and the purple is a special edition so let's see or not those Okay, this is Space Monsters Venus, and she is a fantastic find, so she's not a common, but she's not uncommon. Anyway, this is Outer Space Venus. Her hair is, and all of her actually, is actually quite metallic, except for her face. She's got her little teal eyes, and like the reflect in them is like a little swirl, it's pretty cute. Her outfit is like a periwinkle silver color, more towards a silver color with pink stripes and there's some green stripes in there and it's got a little, looks like a little Saturn because it's a little planet with the rings around it. So, And there's her little booty and she's got a number DTJ58, I don't know if that corresponds to anything. Nope. But, she's there, she's cute. She does have her fangs sticking up there, but they go up like an orc's teeth or shoal's teeth in World of Warcraft, they don't come down. Okay, so my next one I got is Original Ghouls, and it is a common, and it is Little Twyla, the daughter of the Boogeyman. So, boop. She has her light teal hair with a little purple lavender swirl. She has a cute blue dress on that has a neon green spiderweb on it. And there's a little black bow hanging down her neck and a little heart was randomly placed up there. She's like got little teal that almost matches her hair shoes on it. And if you can see, there's little black marks coming up. Those are supposed to be like smoke or shadow lines because she does live in the shadows, so to speak, since she's a daughter of Boogeyman. Her eye reflex are kind of weird. They look like light bulbs almost, but I think they might be like skulls just without the eyes. I won't be able to pick up that close with this camera, but she is cute. Their bodies are slightly poseable. You can move them left or right, and she's all matte everywhere. Nothing's metallic. And there she is. I might actually have another one to her in a three pack that I got, so she might be finding a new home. Oh my gosh, this one's a caddy. I love caddy. I love her, like, she's a black cat. And she keeps around a shard of broken glass because it's supposed to be unlucky, but she always brings her luck. Oh, she's so cute. She's not even out of the plastic yet, and I'm like fangirling over her. That was probably one of the best um, movies that Monster High released was the Boo York, Boo York one. The music in it was just amazing. I think she's a Space Ghouls one. Yep. And she is a common, but that doesn't matter because all caddies are best caddies. She is a solid black cat. Her skin or fur is matte, but she's got silver boots with black stripes on them or laces. She's got this light pink um, dress. She's got pink eyes, and her eye reflect is actually a music note because she sings. She's a performer, and her hair is a shimmery metallic pink. You might be able to see it. And she's got a silver and black wristband right there. Oh, she's so freaking cute. God, I love, I love Caddy's design. This one is a pattern 
Gula Rochelle, who is a gargoyle, and she does have a French accent in animations, and she is a fantastic find. She is wearing a, or her whole body actually, is gray and pink stripes, which is her basic color palette for her outfits. And her ivory fleck is a fleur-de-lis, which is a very common French symbol. I can't remember what it stands for at the moment, but I'm sure you guys will know in the comments. She's got spots, and just like in her doll, you can see the speckles in her skin kind of imitate stone. They're not as dominant on these as they are on the dolls, but you can definitely see them, especially with the light pink parts. And she's got two hair. She's all matte, um, and she's very cute. She got her little wings back there, and her cute little, I guess they're ears or horns, I don't know, or head wings. I'm not sure. She reminds me of Morgan from Darkstalkers, but much cuter. This is a Circus Ghouls Frankie Stein. She is a common. And she has her white hair, a green neon green streak, and a couple of black streaks. Her ivory flicks are a little lightning bolt. You know, whenever you're shopping Monster High, you always have to pay attention to like the little details like that. That's why I liked about the line. They would throw in tiny little details that reflected the character. Like Jalupi, um, the big tall one from the like the circus themed set. Her eye reflects her little toxic signs because she was a like goo monster type thing. Frankie has heterochromia, which means two different color eyes. But you really can't tell with this one because they've picked a blue and a teal that go so close together you really have to look hard to see it. Um, they did leave her little scar right there. That's what that little thing is. She's got these eyelashes that come out to like a little ball point. That's why they look so weird. I don't think the camera might pick it up but maybe not. Let's see. You see how they come to little points? A little dot. And then she's got almost like a Ringmaster's outfit. She's got an Ar Argyle, Argyle sweater on with black gloves and a blue skirt and black shoes and tights. And she's got little blue undies underneath. She is completely matte. And there she is. Okay, this is Getting Ghostly, and she's a fantastic find, and it's Claudine! Oh my gosh, I love her so much! They're kind of transparent, that's why they're called Getting Ghostly. I'm trying to keep the light so you can actually see. She has different shades of purple, her face is a little bit darker, her, her ears are a little bit darker purple than her hair and her like sweater dress. Um. I think her face has some metallicness to it. It looks like it, but it's very, very light and metallic if it does. But there's her little booty. Her hair. Shaking from side to side like Ariana Grande. Let's see, and her eyes are brown. And if you can tell, they're half or their crescent moon reflex. So, I got a clogging. You are so cute. And adorable, and the only reason why I watch this show anymore because it's like ridiculous. This is a ragdoll gold Cleo. She's a fantastic find, which means she's not common but uncommon. And she's got little blue button eyes, kind of a la Coraline of the mother. Under this eye, she has a little diamond, a teal diamond, um, teal like jammies with yellow tipped feet. There's stitch marks all over her body and that's about it. Nothing else. There's no eye reflex because like I said there's buttons. But she's got her little hair band on her little gold. Well they're yellow highlights. They, they are metallic so I'm not calling them gold. There she is in all her little monster high glory. This one is the only Draculaura I think is freaking adorable. She is a Candy Ghouls Draculaura. Her hair is pink metallic with glitter in it. 
She's got a black dress to sprinkles all over it, and there's a donut right in the middle, but it's underneath the sprinkles, so you can't really see it that well unless you see it in person. She has heart reflex in her little purple eyes. She's supposed to have, yeah, there she is. She's supposed to have a little heart on her cheek, and she's got this little black bow that's got a heart with, as you can see, it's got little fangs in it. She's a vampire, a vegan vampire. She's got little pink shoes. And she's really adorable. It's the glitter hair that, uh, I love glitter. It's so freaking cute. Like I said, she's a common, but I mean, look at that. How could you not love that? Oh, I might just take one I have a dupe of and paint that hair with glitter. Here we have a rag doll, Goo Laguna. She's the daughter of this creature from the Black Lagoon, the Blue Lagoon. She has green buttons for eyes. Her blonde hair, which usually has a teal streak in it, but they don't have that in this version. And she's got her light teal, seafoam kind of colored skin. She's got a green sweater dress on, not green, a pink sweater dress on with pink booties. And there's a little blue patch with hearts on it on the middle. And let's see, she has very light freckles. They're like a dark blue, but you can you won't be able to pick them up on camera. Nope, nope, nope. Where's the viewfinder? Yeah, no, it just gets blurry. So Laguna isn't one of my favorite characters, but this is kind of cute. If you catch it in the light, there's an imprinted number down here underneath the barcode. And if you look that up, it will tell you which one it leads to. A lot of people have like lists of numbers and they'll go through the box and see, hey, I need this number. So they pull it out and they know which one it is. So I know with my little pony blind bags now, they have little holes, like you pin, like pin holes that you can kind of see what you're getting. But I mean, if you don't find the one that you want after a couple of tries, just go on eBay and find it loose. They, they're up there and they're usually pretty cheap. So, I just like the fun of opening the blind boxes, even if I get a dupe. And this is my last one. This is a common. This is one of the Getting Ghostly Ghouls. And this is Ari Hauntington. I was trying to decide whether it was Spectra and Ari, or Ari, because they have very similar designs in these little things. But the throwaway, the catch is she has um, music notes for her eye reflex, and Ari is a pop star. So I'm assuming it would be Ari. She is a magenta color compared to the Claudine. Let's see. Let's see. She's like everything on her is metallic, just a very light metallic, but. Her body seems to be a little bit lighter than her head and hair. So, but she's got a little mouth open, like like a surprise look. There she, she's very cute, and she's the last one I have to open until I can find some more. So no dupes on this one, I don't think, except for that one from earlier. I'll have to check. All right, guys. So that's it. I'm sorry if there's a bunch of jump cuts because I wanted to open them and not have to show the opening because it takes a couple minutes to get into the box but I wanted to show you the end result and there was at least three or four of them that I really liked so the Candy Ghouls, Draculaura, the Getting Ghostly Claudine, those two are probably my favorites so yeah if you would like to see more unboxings um, comment below or like the video um, if you'd like to see me react to any type of video or song, make sure you comment that below as well. If you like Monster High, be it the new Monster High or the old original Monster High, who was your favorite character of all? If you had to pick one, no, top three. If you had to pick top three, who would they be? Mine well, would be Claudine, Caddy, then Abby. I love all the cat girls, but I love Cla Caddy Noir. Noir, how do you say that word? The most because she's a black cat. I love black cats. And then Abby Abominable. I just love her design. So, those would be my top three. 
and I would love to hear yours. What do you think's happening with Monster High? Do you think they're re maybe rebranding it again? That's why they're slowing down, and maybe they're going back to the old Monster High, or do you think they're putting it in the towel and calling it quits for this franchise? Because it's been going on for about what six or seven years. It's had a good run, but I really thought it would last a lot longer than that because they're still really popular, especially with the older people like adults we love monster high I've, i'm on several different facebook groups for monster high and like custom monster high dolls and stuff like that so it just sucks to see something that you love like end so i liked monster high because they celebrated your flaws instead of you having to be perfect in every shape and size and in every way if you had like a scar or, or if one eye wasn't the same color as another, they celebrated your flaws. And that was a good thing, like a good motto to do with especially young girls nowadays that are cutting themselves, going bulimic or anorexic because they want to look like the models on TV and everything that's photoshopped. And it's horrible because it's just not a good environment. But that was like the most positive thing about Monster High. I really liked that. Um, even ever after high with the princesses and the princes or whatever and all that, the royals and the rebels, they still didn't push the whole you have to look a certain way to be beautiful, beauty comes from inside type of deal. That was kind of like their motto for ever after high and I really like that and Mattel did a really good job with these and I know the creators, the designers put a lot of hard work and effort into designing each doll from both series. And I've got a few of the Enchantable dolls, um, and they're pretty cute, but it's just, if Monster High does go, it's going to be a very sad, sad day. But anyway, um, other than that, if you have any constructive criticism, you can put it down below. I always take it and try to put it in my following videos, try to apply it as much as I can. Uh, I know the lighting isn't that good today. I don't know why because I've got a lot of natural light. It keeps flickering in and out. Um, but I do have a new camera. It was well new to me. It was my dad's old camera. It was a, it's a Nikon. It's a big fancy camera. Um, and he got for a gift and he bought a new one because for some reason it was acting up. But this this older one was acting up but I didn't find any flaws with it so I want to try to use that for vlogging and stuff like that but I still have to get used to it myself because it's got the zoom it's got all these modes and I have no guidebook for it no like how, what does this symbol mean and all that so I'm gonna practice that a little bit so hopefully the video quality will be a lot better coming forth I have figured out a way to, to take you guys with me for um, vlogging, like when I go shopping and stuff, because when I shop, I shop with the electric cart because I can't walk for long distances of time because my back starts hurting and then that makes me have to tense up and breathe weird, which screws up my heart rhythm. So I just get the mean looks from the older people, like why is she in a car? She doesn't look like anything's wrong. And then I'll just pull out my IV line and then they turn away. So, but I've got this nice little the tripod that I've been using actually folds and bends and I can wrap that around like the, the front of the cart so you can see me, I'll face it towards me and you can see me, my mom and I always go shopping together like for groceries and stuff. So, and I usually always cut up, you know, I like to bump her along because I make sure she gets in front of me. She'll stop and stand there for about five minutes and then I'll just gently give her a nudge like, come on, let's go. Because she has to pick up the heavy things for me because I can't lift anything over 10 pounds anymore. So, yeah, fun, fun, fun. But hopefully I'll be doing that. Um, I was going to vlog while I was at Duke this past um, checkup, but I felt so bad I didn't even put makeup on. I mean, I just, it was bad. And then I had to go to the hospital a few days after that. And, uh, oh, it's been crazy. And my depression and anxiety has like peaked this month. 
and it's going to get even worse come the 19th of next month. But I did go see Sweeney Todd with my dad because he was the NPC. I asked him if he was going to be excited to go when I bought the tickets so I was buying two. And he said yeah, and he never mentioned it since. So I figured he didn't want to go. So my dad really wanted to go and we went and we had a good time. And I was surprised because my dad really doesn't like horror things, but it, ha it was classified as a horror comedy and they didn't use any fake blood like I thought until the very end. So it wasn't as gory as the like, movie, but it was pretty cool. It was very good. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Join the pack. We would love to have you. You know the deal. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye.